Are you filming? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's the net? Is it? Hold on a second. Hand me the net, babe. I have got a sweetheart of a crappie on here. Come on, babe. Ooh, what a horse. Ooh, what a horse. Look at this tub. Holy mackerel. I am so glad we brought the camera with us. Look at this fish. That is just an absolute pumpkin. Look at this guy. Man, oh man. Is that a horse or what? Look at that. That, that fish has got to be 15, 16 inches long. Holy mackerel. I don't have a, or do I have a measuring? I don't even think it'll fit in the, in the measure. What's that go up to? That goes up to 13 inches. I'm not sure it'll even fit in. Yeah, <laughs> it won't. It won't fit in the fit. <laughs> I would say it's legal if it won't fit in the tray. Isn't yeah. that a pig? Look at that fish. Hold on, wait on. Hold on a second. Keep running. Keep filming the fish here, because I've we got a couple three in the box already tonight. But I've got a scale or a tape on the back of this lid. Look at that. 15 inches. Holy mackerel. She's 15. We got three legal keepers down in there, but look at that horse. 15 inch crappie. That's got to be a pound and a quarter, pound and a half. That is a hoss. Well, you can turn off the film because I got to get another minnow on and get back down here. Let me, are you still filming? Mm -hmm. let, it, let it keep going. I want to show everybody what we're doing here. I got a, I'm using a little, a little G Loomis rod here and a little Calcutta, Shimano Calcutta 50B. They don't make them no more. And there was a guy here named Harold Morgan for years. We're on Percy Priest Lake in Nashville, Tennessee. I got a three quarter ounce bank sinker tied on the bottom. Then up about, oh, 14 inches or so. I got a Mr. Twister Snell. And it's a it's a 10, or I know it's a four, size four. It's pretty small. You can see it's a pretty small blood red hook, but they come in snells in packages. And what you do is you just pull the line off to the side, run it through your snell, loop it around, tie it, wet it, pull it down until it's tight, and I'm gonna hook a minnow on just right underneath the right underneath the bottom of his chin as far forward as possible and right out the top. Now you can also hook them in one eyeball and out the other. I'm only about 14 feet of water here because it's these females are coming in here right after the males respond. The water is 66 degrees. Drop it to the bottom, wind it up about two or three cranks and you just kind of feel in through the trees. Bang. In fact, Sheila, if you want to hop over here, hop in that front seat. Let's see if we can catch one on camera here. Let me grab a minnow out of my little my little angle minnow tub tub here. I got a little a little GPS e-trex that tells me where that brush pile is. And there's also got an Elite Four. They don't make them anymore. They're, they're, they make an Elite Five by Lawrence, and it's got down scan imaging. If you look at that screen, see that screen, Sheila? Get right on that screen. Yeah, you can just see the branches and everything right on the bottom. It looks just like you're looking at the bottom. And look at this minnow here. See? I hooked him under the bottom and in there. And boy, he just swims great like that. So the brush pile is 40 feet that way. So I got my trolling motor as quiet as possible because it is kind of calm out here. So I got to clear down on about 25, 30%. I'm going to drop to the bottom, come up about three cranks. What a crappie. Gee whiz. Awesome. I am so glad you brought the camera with you. See, now I'm just going along and look at here. On my, I, I hang on to this and I just let the line kind of run through my fingers. And it just feels like it just a little snap. Now here, here comes the trees. Look at here. Film this. We're coming right up on them. We're 21, 19, or about 19 feet away according to the GPS, but you can already kind of see the trees coming on the screen. 
now we're 10 feet away so we're just right in the area right now and you can see that the see the trees are getting thicker and thicker and thicker because we're just sitting right in the middle of it and I'm about two and a half cranks off the bottom Oop, got geez I had one hold on a second yeah a little tap there Let me check my minnow, make sure he didn't zap my minnow. Nope. We're only in 14.8 feet of water, 65.9 degrees. And uh, now it says it's 17 feet behind us, so I'm just going to spin the spin the foot-controlled Minn Kota around so it goes in reverse and back up. And I'm going to run right through them same trees again. I don't hurry because I don't want to spook the fish with my trolling motor but uh, you can see them trees now we're back to 19 18 17 you notice there's nothing on the screen so here's the bottom that that yellow is the bottom and up from that there's no trees yet but as I come back now it says we're 12 feet away watch the trees start to appear see them coming see them coming the branches off the bottom and stuff the stumps and there's a boulder down there and all that stuff. It, 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 it isn't like sonar. It's called down scan imaging. If you get one of the new Elite Fives, DSI is what you want. They got actually a split screen. Now we're right in them. So I'm going to turn the other way and just stop the boat so we're sitting right in the trees. See, look at that. Okay, got one. Look at here. Look at here. Ooh, ooh, wow. Easy, easy. Easy. Holy mackerel. Easy. God, these are big fish. Holy mackerel. Can you hand me the net? This is another big tub. Holy mackerel. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God. Come over here and film. Just caught him on camera. Never turned the camera off from the time we put the crappie minnow on, dropped it in. And look at this. Is that not absolutely the most incredible? Geez, those are monsters. Just absolute slabs. That's that three-quarter ounce, what's called a bank sinker. It's, it doesn't have a sw swivel or nothing. It's just poured out of pure lead, three-quarter ounce. And the reason we put the snell up is if you get hung in a tree, like say you lift up and you get hung in a branch, just drop your line, drop your line, drop your line, and it'll pull the hook back out of the branch. I don't know what to say. I could have never filmed this better and I got to give all the glory to not only the Lord the man upstairs but to Harold Morgan if you look through any old crappie magazines anywhere in the south there's a guy named Harold Morgan tough as nails suffered through polio he used to have to have a little bit of help getting in his boat but he didn't need no help pulling the crappies out of the lake because he would just slay them and he taught me that tight line rig in the trees lift it up about two three cranks and you just kind of feel right there I felt like somebody just snapped my line with their finger just tunk, and you just lift you don't really even got to set the hook is that a beautiful fish or what is that absolutely awesome or what I don't know what to say Wow we well Steve Hall here in Nashville Tennessee along with pretty Miss Sheila my camera woman Thank doing you. a great job let's put this in the box and let's get us a couple more and uh, you know we like to practice catch and release so we're gonna release this one in Lake Crisco tonight for dinner you can hit the button baby because I'm gonna keep that film forever two slabbers all on the same film this goes out to my brother Larry Hall in Brainerd Minnesota who's got the rain gutter grow system we got a big garden on our house put at home we're sitting out here on Percy Priest Lake, pounding monster slab crappies. Is that awesome or what? Signing off from me and Sheila. Bye-bye.